Hello there and welcome back to Corpse Party. Now I decided to go back just a little bit from the end of the last episode to see what happens if we go a different route. Uh, I've already tested it beforehand so I know that it leads to the same place ultimately but there's some more dialogue that kind of fleshes things out just a tiny bit more. Also I'm having to re-record this episode because the end of the recording which was going to be the start of the last episode was very small and I would have had to record more to add on to it anyway. Also, the first five minutes or so of the recording, I'd accidentally left the pitch shifter on, so I sounded like a rat or a mouse or just a very old bed. Anyway, let's go. We have to hide. Now we'll head in here instead of going through the door to the bottom right. I also already know everything that I did at the end of the last recording, which would have been this video in the previous recording. Don't hurt my brain. Anyway. Didn't realize I could move. Get it back. Get it back. Get it back. The spirit of a little girl was staring back at Yuka with one very focused eye and one empty socket that radiated a profound darkness. She held in her hand a pair of scissors, and with opening and closing them endlessly echoed a chill-inducing <laughs> throughout the room. Give me back my eye. The scented beads fell from Yuka's pocket, hitting the round with a dull clank. Fuck, even. <laughs> now what the fuck is that where she was standing exactly? That wasn't there before. That's unhygienic, classy. Can I take this back? No. Investigate things now. Nope. The presence of a ghost does not change your opinion of things. Oh, big brother. The fuck you go? Anyway, this guy has a, a very surprising power. He lifts. We can't get through with this in our way. The glass door of the cabinet is completely shattered. There's glass shards everywhere. One of the shelves, you see a piece of floorboard that someone seems to have pried up. Take it. Sure, what could you go wrong? I mean, I don't really see why you'd put a, a floorboard on display, but... Oh well. I mean, people have different tastes, I guess. Acquired this board. Lovely. Alright. Now, I did also notice we can actually go all the way back with this boy... ...all the way here. So, I'm gonna need to explore the building with him. Just to remind myself, yeah, 312. Okay. Because at this point, I've actually already solved that puzzle in spare time. And we've not actually found the third clue, clue yet, which we'll find here. 
It's a plaster bust, cheap and mass produced for use in still life paintings. Ah, I've Hmm, what's the matter? Right, so we head in through here. Things are dark. And in its place there is a note. Number three. That. So this is the third clue that we need to solve the puzzle. Which I've already solved. Yes, I'm very useful like that. Using the code of 312, we eventually got Search Desk in Music Room. HT. Side by the Window. Sigur. Desk. From the back, Exynado. And I tried doing it with the other codec of 323123, but I just got gibberish. But before we do that, I'm wanting to further explore the area. Now, this could very well be just a huge waste of time. A heavy cabinet collapsed across the floor here. The boards around it are creaking under its weight. Climbing over it would be far too risky. Well, we're not getting. Th well, we're not getting through here with this in our way, so. My, that was unexpected. Hey. Hey. This is new. There's a skeletal corpse with bleach white. Bones sprawled across the floor here, lying atop the remains of his clothes. Is this student ID name tag? Isito Municipal Brotherhood, Senior High School, Class 24. Akihiko Hagurazaki? I think that's how that's pronounced. Not fucking clue, quite frankly. There's a picture of four dead children here. Oh, cheery! Wait, that wasn't there before. Oh, place to the sport! Hmm. Okay. It's an extraordinarily tiny corpse. In its hand is a school printout with some text written on the back in felt tip pen. Father. I want to go back to. Ganso, Distant Future Elementary School. Futures. God damn, she's a time traveler. Class 4 3. Kanao Yakimura. There's even elementary schoolers here. Such a wretched fate. How on earth did she get caught up in this mess? Interesting. Based on size, this appears to be the corpse of a middle schooler. There's a student ID name tag attached to the tattered remains of her uniform. Akiro number 3, junior high school, class 3-5. Yuki Surata. They're the remains of a very tall individual. Flying atop what remains of his clothes is a student ID name tag. Isoto Municipal Brotherhood Senior High School, Class 24, Hatao Sido. I read that one quite easily, I'm proud of myself. Just wait for the next one, okay? I'll be fucking long. Oh, what? Let's just ignore that. <laughs> Oh dear. Custodian's closet. The door is affixed to the wall like a decoration. It won't open. There's an erratic noise like that of TV static coming from within. We're in we're in Silent Hill! God damn it! Again! These are the remains of a female student who clearly suffered a blow to the head. Her skull is cracked open and there's dried blood everywhere. Her broken glasses, as well as the student ID name tag, are resting across. 
resting next to her mangled corpse. The Caroden, senior high school class 24, Emmy Rabi. Surprised neither of them comment on that. But I'm gonna further explore the area, but I'm just gonna take a guess and say that we may get the key to the custodian's closet or son in the desk in the music room. I know, it's a big pile of blood there. Yes! Oh, he's got nothing to say about it. Comment on the gore, please. Huh? Victim's memoirs three of five. Did I read this? Can't remember. Mitsuhara really isn't anywhere to be found, is he? I guess it's true. I'll probably never see him again. But I may have figured out a way of getting in contact with him at least. He left me a message on the teacher's desk in one of the classrooms. It's like, even when we're in different spaces, we can still communicate that way. That's not enough. No warmth to be felt from the written word alone. I miss our fights and impromptu wrestling matches. But it's not just physical contact. What well, I want more than anything is to just see his face again. I want to be able to see him around. Make small talk. Ask him how he's been, what he plans to do after school. Those simple everyday interactions are some of my most precious memories now. What well, I wouldn't give to have those days back. Funny what runs through your head when you're trying to make frostbitten fingers move without cracking off. What here? Sounds like it gets a little bit cold here. In addition to blood, this particular urinal features a sickening cocktail of vomit and feces. Lovely! The urinals are filled with an extremely unsettling amount of blood. Well, didn't he try drinking it? Those who choose to ignore the darkness that dwells in their hearts of man may be struck forever in a loop. For in this world there are some truths that simply must be known, regardless of how disturbing. Such as how there is no true and true meaning to anything. Nihilism 101. But clearly, but curiosity can be deadly, and the truths are best left untold. You hear the messages of the dead, for there be curses among them. Curses that can crush even the strongest of wills. Demolish all semblance of reason. If you wish to protect your sanity, take heed. Do not let your curiosity get the better of you. Do not read the victim's memoirs to their conclusion. I've read this before. Oh dear. There's an nauseating smell emanating from the drain. There's a thick crust of mould and mildew formed around the edge of the mirror. Just being near it would make anyone feel... diseased. Yeah, and the girls. Numerous teeth are floating in the stagnant water. Many with gums still attached. It sounds like this was equal parts education facility and nursing home. Right. Hmm. Well, we're not getting through with this in our way, so... Huh. There, uh... I just realized, yeah, there, there appears to be quite a few desks in here. It just has the desk in the music room. Let me just double check that that is actually the music room. Without a doubt. Yep. Suicide site! What? Okay. Oh. There are a few sentences scribbled on the surface of the desk. Corey, be very careful around the green skulls splattered all over the floor. They can kill you. I ran into a spiritualist here who left behind a pair of shoes blessed with holy water. If one person wears them, and all in attendance join hands, then, and only then, is it safe to reverse the cursed green menace? Whenever I see the sorrowful bodies of those who died here, feel as if I may go mad with worry. I beg of you, survive these ordeals. Live! A pair of shoes with a faint, 
nearly imperceptible bluish glow catches your eye from under the desk. Take them. Ah, they could stay there. Okay, I'll take them. Get the gab, Phil. Acquired blessed shoes. Okay. Oh. What the? Stop trying to be dramatic, piano. Okay. Now we just need to cross this. Oh shit, they put them on already. Okay. There's something sparkling on the ground. Pick it up. Sure, what could go wrong? Acquired crystal of unsealing. Ah, oh, the toilets! Huh? Hmm? What seems to be the problem, Yuka? Oh, don't tell me you've been holding it in all this time, have you? My, my. Well, we'd best find you a place to relieve yourself, then. Though I seem to recall our options being rather... limited. <laughs> the fuck? Yeah, oh I got... Permanent records. The door is affixed to the wall again. Oh yeah, I didn't check this, did I? She's not breathing. Her eyes have a hollow appearance to them, yet still retain a tiny echo of life and reflect the palpable sense of terror. It almost seems as if she could snap out of it at any moment, stand up and walk away. The corpse is so fresh, simply being in its presence is disquieting. <sighs> Uh, are you all right? This is terrible. Such pure execution. All he needed would be a much smaller incision. Yuka, have you seen the ghosts of the children? I have. Okay. I've been reading the school flyers and dying messages scattered throughout the buildings. And it seems the ghosts of the man, the ghost of the man who killed those children's... Children's? It seems they had children's! It seems the ghost of the man who killed those children is in here somewhere as well. Whoa! He's apparently quite large, and wields a hammer. You'd best be on your guard. I've heard a great many of my friends, many, many people, killed by that man and those wretched children. <clears throat> At any rate, it seems clear we should stick together, as there's simply no telling what may happen should we part ways. Come, we must find my sister and your brother before it is too late. Uh, did we get over dramatic with it, what? Where the fuck even is that wanker? Alright. Now I think before we go in there, I might actually end this episode here because I'm not sure how long it will be cut down because we wound up exploring through the main building. So just in case, gonna end this part here. So thank you very much for watching. You've been a beautiful audience. This has been Carl Friday. I have been Wakila, and until next weekend, goodbye. <laughs>